Hello everyone, welcome back to the Fireside Creators. So today I'm going to be smoking my turkey for Thanksgiving. And these are a couple of ingredients that I'm going to use to inject my turkey. Um, I'm going to, going to go over a couple of my ingredients and I'm going to put them in this pot. So I have black pepper, onion powder, accent garlic powder, minced garlic, I have obey, I have poultry seasoning, I have lemon juice. I already have a Creole style butter that I'm going to inject in my turkey as well. I have a bay leaf I'm going to put in the pot and, and thyme. So let's get started. So first I'm going to put my butter in. So then I put my black pepper. Now I'm putting my onion powder. Set these to the side. Putting in my accent. My garlic powder. Okay. Putting in my minced garlic. Minced garlic smells so good. I'm putting in my lemon juice. Freshly squeezed lemon juice. I'm putting in a little bit of poultry seasoning. I'm going to put in two bay leaves. And I'm going to a little bit of thyme. So I'm going to put this on the stove. And I'll be back. So I finished cooking my ingredients. And I wanted to let y'all know, off camera, I added a half a cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of vegetable oil. So now, then my next step is to inject this mixture into my turkey. And also, I have a blend of dry spices that I'm going to use, that I'm going to rub on the outside of my turkey. So I'm going to pour this mixture into another container, and I'll be back. So now we're ready to inject the turkey. But before you start injecting the turkey or putting the, the rub on, you want to dry your turkey as much as you can. Alright. So now I'm going to cover him with vegetable oil. Well, actually, you can use any kind of oil you want, but I'm going to use vegetable oil to make sure my dry seasonings stick to the turkey. So now we're ready to inject the turkey. This will season on the outside. Now we need to season it on the inside. So I'm gonna inject it. Just. You don't want to go too deep, just enough where you can just see the rise on the turkey. Ooh, it's already coming out. 
Ooh, you can see him rising right here. But I'm gonna finish injecting this turkey and I'll be back. So I'm back and I've injected the turkey as much as I can. I injected him very well. You got a little bit that came out on the sides, but it's, he has more than enough ingredients on the inside. So now I'm going to stuff him with lemons. Stuff him with lemons. Onions. Get it all off up in there. Stuff him with celery. It can hang out a little bit, but it's fine. I'm going to stuff him with garlic. Have another celery left. And some more onions. I love onions. Ooh, stuffed them to death. Ha ha ha. No, I'm just saying. Okay, and I added a little bit more dry seasoning to the outside of him because while I was injecting, some of the seasonings came off. We're going to take him out to the pit and I'll see y'all out there. Okay, so now we're at the pit and I'm about to put the turkey on the grill. Mm, pour the excess sauce. So now my turkey's on the grill, y'all. So I'm going to let my turkey stay on the grill for about an hour and I'm going to come back and check on them and see how much progress the turkey's made. Right. So I added a little bit more and now I'm going to add probably just Okay, so now it's been an hour and I come to check my turkey. Okay, he's looking good. So I'm going to pour this butter over the turkey so it won't be dry.
Okay, everyone, so I just took my turkey off the grill, and now he's done. So I let him smoke. He's been smoking for 12 hours. So I just took him off the grill, and this is what he looks like. He looks good. Mighty tasty. This container that I put it in is a little bit too small for him. So I'm going to move him to a different pan. 